Good morning, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph and today we're looking at Bitcoin and we also going to look at a trading opportunity on the Lido coin and uh, our uh, master analysis Dion <laughs> is going to talk to us now. <laughs> uh, morning Dion, <laughs> what's happening? Good morning guys. I've just really looked at everything after we've bro broken through that um, wedge that we've been trading in the last few weeks. So I've just looked at it from scratch now that that pattern um, is no longer. So on the on the weekly Bitcoin, we're still in this bearish trend. Obviously, we all know that. Um, and we're still above that weekly support, which is great. The thing which we are concerned about is this 200 MA still that we've now closed below and we're still trading below so that is our absolute first essential target is to to go above that 200 um, MA there if we just zoom into the daily so on the on the daily we were trading in this uh, downwards parallel channel and then we had that that wedge which is now gone but what I see now is a broadening wedge at the moment and that unfortunately is also a bearish pattern so they normally break to the downside so um, we'll have to just wait and see what happens here so at the moment we found support there but if we go down a drop down here then we will definitely go down further at least to come and hit this weekly support so if we go in a bit further zoom into four hours um, so yeah is that broadening wedge and then these are just the zones that we're trading in so this is the support zone we've got at the moment and up here is our first resistance around about 24,000 and below us 17,600 so these are the two trades that we could be looking at so we would have to break the support here um, break out of it test it and then go and then we can take a trade up to the to the upside which would probably be around this little area yeah which is often um, acted as support resistance so i would go just target that area there but we would have to break out here first test it and be sure that we're going up before we can get into that trade and same for the downside if we break below this uh it's 20, if, and say 50 if we broke down there and come and retest it then we unfortunately would then also be breaking that um, the trend here yeah, from this um, broadening wedge and I think then we could be going down as low as 19,000 probably around about here yeah, somewhere so we could take a trade to the to the downside there um, on the hour I don't, on the hour we can just check our um, you know see how far we below last week's high was up up here so we really dropped down quite a lot at the moment trading in this area yeah so we came to meet last week's low and at the moment this is that zone that we we trading in um at the moment and waiting for a breakout here to get into a possible trade we can just look here at the stochastic and the rsi so they're both at the moment stochastic is down so it's it's um, in a sell signal and the rsi also is below so for now definitely doesn't look like we're going we're going up in the in the short term what i do see however is there is a bit of a divergence that's a bullish divergence so if you look at the rsi here it's going up but the price is going down so it's not confirmed yet but it, it so it doesn't look as if it wants to go down that far um so there is a bit of a bullish divergence on the on the one hour then um we can quickly just look through the through the market indicators um so the dollar index is the, the one causing all the problems so we actually at the moment we've reached the local high that we reached uh 14 july so we really have to break down from here like we did this time around or last time we broke down from there and everyone is obviously hoping for that so the dollar has just been flying up and um, that's pulling down all the other markets so the Nasdaq you can see here uh, um, is down by six and a half percent so it's also just dumping down and the S&P 500 also four and a half percent so it's just pulling down all the other markets at the moment um, the total three index which is all the money into the altcoins has also taken a drop but now um, 
has found a bottom so there's a bit of money coming in and in and out in and out but we're just trading sideways yeah so at least not money's not leaving anymore so it's probably because bitcoin is at a, a fairly good buying price so i think that's why the money is starting to come in again you can see at uh, around about yeah we started getting a lot of money so whenever we drop down there bitcoin is really at a good price and people start buying again um and also when it, it also um it's good for the altcoins so we'll we'll see what happens as long as we trade sideways here yeah, that's that's great and last one you can just look at is bitcoin dominance so it's also trading up and down it's below that strong um, resistance that we had so trading basically sideways so if it carries on like this the altcoins will start picking up and and doing well um, the trade that I wanted to look at today, not a trade as yet, so for the past few days we've just been looking, not trading, so we just have to be patient, um, but on the Lido coin, there's a very strong support here, and if Bitcoin dumps down a bit further, we might get a bounce back down to, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for, and then just to take a 15% trade, um, so anyway below that range high wh wherever we get a good signal to enter this this is on the four hour chart so it's a good coin part of the ethereum merge so we're expecting it definitely to to have a, a pump to the upside soon um so i think it would be a really an awesome buy if we can get it down here so just be patient we can just have a look at the stochastic as well at the moment it's up but looks like it wants to maybe turn or is I still below 50 um, and there's the volume is also below zero so I wouldn't get into it at the moment not wanting to but keeping an eye on this I think this can be an awesome trade for us if, if we're lucky enough for it to come and hit the bottom here yeah. it will make a great trade up but we'll keep an eye on it and um, see where we where we can get a good entry and if it's still possible to get a good profit off that range I'll keep you posted that's it for me Joseph yeah Dion, uh, I've been looking at this Lido coin and I really like it. Ever since we known about this Ethereum merch, I've been looking at all these Ethereum coins every once in a while and uh, there's so much potential in the Lido. It's also a great project. A lot of people are financially backing it. So I think uh, from a long-term perspective, even if you would huddle the Lido coin, uh, you will do good. 15% uh, would be very easy uh, for that coin to achieve. So I think that's an excellent trade. Yeah, I also feel the market sentiment is still very bullish on uh, Bitcoin, although we had this drop. I think it was a very necessary pullback. And so hopefully um, uh, Bitcoin is, uh, is going to continue on the macroeconomics to make higher lows. Uh, so that's also positive. Thank you, Dion, uh, for this analytics. Um, so uh, we're going to be back in an hour and we're going to listen to Steve from Crypto Crew University. Uh, we're going to talk about the fear and the greed index and that's going to be a really good show. Uh, look forward to see you there. Thank you, Dion. Right, guys. Thank you. See you just now.